guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episode one of Comey Can't Communicate. Uh, I can't speak. <laughs> Comey Can't Communicate. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, you cute. There's a pretty behind cat. Oh my god. Oh. I am down. That or I. I'm sorry. <laughs> There it goes. <laughs> well, damn, dude, at least be proud. Okay. <laughs> His voice kind of seems familiar to me, but then at the same time, no. Oh my god, no, you didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Jesus. Oh. She just shy, that's all. I mean, come on now. Let me guess, they're going to be sitting right beside each other. <laughs> well, I mean, look at her. Come on now. You got that one kid in class wearing a mask. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> oh. 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 
I mean, damn, girl. Okay, I'm just going to call you Hito. <laughs> uh, it's hot. <laughs> Bug, you serious? Damn. Oh, God. I mean, damn, don't crowd her. I mean, bruh, it's only episode one and we already got people confessing on this shit. Aww. <laughs> yeah, since you wrote her name. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. oh.
she's very similar to Bochi from Hotoru Boshi, like straight up. If you don't go fucking hug her right now, oh my god. Oh, you got hiccups. Oh, she precious. <laughs> Her eyes a lot. Of... Yeah, at least say something to her before she leaves. That freaking dirt face. I love it so much. <laughs> I can't. Funny enough, I found one and I, I think it was like very transparent that I was very close to using it as a thumbnail the whole entire series. Uh, but I didn't want people coming for me and copyright shit. <laughs> Oh. 
We literally skipped gym for this, and that's okay. It's cute. Oh, stop it. Oh. Holy shit. Wait! <laughs> they so fucking cute. Oh my god. Stop. Oh, the feels. Oh. I saw that, and everybody has that in a way. <laughs> oh, we're, yeah, the opening. Mm -hmm, yeah. Well, you know, I'm happy I didn't really get to see, like, the first 10 minutes of this. I, I just looked at the opening, I think, the time of when the opening came out. I think, like, what fucking... Was it Crunchyroll who had it out? And I was like, yeah! Because your girl thought the first episode was out when I saw the damn opening. And then I saw that it was only pre-screening in 10 minutes. And I was like, oh. Well, I'm not going to watch this and I'll just wait a little bit longer. God, her eyes are just so freaking pretty. Like, oh my god. She about to be best girl because of her damn eyes. <laughs> oh my god. That has never happened. Like, seriously. How could someone be best girl because of her eyes, Deja? Like, shit, I don't know. <laughs> But she is precious, though. God, y'all are so fucking stalkerish. Jesus. I mean, yes, she's beautiful, but damn. God. <laughs> oh, God! Honey! 
so fucking cute. Oh. Oh, what did he fail? Ow. Oh, damn. Come on. Oh my god, this is getting so good. And it's only the first episode? Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright, let me go ahead and say this. Call Me reminds me of three people. So, person, no. Looks wise, she gives me hella centered hot feels, and I fucking love that because still, best girl queen right there. Um, because she is very quiet and she's trying to get friends immediately. Bochi from Hitori Boshi, and then her little cat goofy silly side kind of gives me Kaguya vibes in a way. I mean, yeah, you just take those three and then boom, Kami. <laughs> but she is adorable. Oh my god, I feel like I, I think every guy girl who ever is gonna be like, damn, this is best girl for a <laughs> Because, oh, I, I feel like right now she she has no one that she needs to go up against can compete with for Best Girls. She's already won. That's it. It only took one episode to be like, damn, this is Best Girl. And and let me tell you, beforehand, it was Cosette from freaking, um, <laughs> from Top Gay OP Destiny for me. Because Cosette is just so adorable. And I was like, oh my god, she badass. She like, save her initial. Oh my god. And then this child right here was like, mm -mm, no, like. <laughs> Best girl is me. <laughs> like, oh. Oh, God, how. Uh. Why didn't we just start with that? <laughs> I just want merch of her now. Like, oh my god, she's so fucking precious. Like, stop. Oh my god. Honey bunny. Like, Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, just precious baby girl. Oh my god. Protect her, please. Like, Jesus. She just, oh. Oh my god, my heart. I can't. She, way too many feels with this girl. I, I love her so much already, and it's only the first damn episode. Okay. So Hito, um, his voice, <sighs> hmm. that's a good question. Oh, um, okay. He reminds me of freaking Yuji from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Like that, like straight up when he was just talking every single time. I'm like, are you him? Like, are you also that one person he also voices from that one show that I reacted to that I cannot remember? where it was about a freaking instruments in it that show that I it's in the back of my head and I can't think of it right now so oof <laughs> because it sounds like him and I wouldn't be surprised if that's him because I mean you know because he's a really popular say you as of right now um so yeah but like for call me like yeah I think it, that could be Kaguya-sama her that could be her 
because it, it kind of sounds like her, especially when she was stuttering. And I was like, Kaguya? Okay, what's her face from Genshin? Yeah, yeah, that's you. Yeah, yeah, even though I don't play Genshin like that. <laughs> but yeah, she's so adorable. I, I cannot wait to see how this is going to go for her and stuff. I think this is going to be something that a lot of people, in a way, can relate to. Because, in a way, like, a lot of us have a little anxiety when we're trying to communicate and talk to people. Um, or, you know, it's really hard for people to communicate. I think for me, when I was, like a kid it was very hard for me to like communicate um to others because I always got bullied and such for just the way that I talked and yeah now like so many years later I was like oh my god you talk so nice and I'm just like uh -huh, yeah but then I can be awkward as fuck sometimes and I don't mean to but it just happens but yeah I mean I really can relate to her in a way but she's just so fucking adorable oh my god but, like oh and then the references. Do we really have to do the deductive coding references? Oh my god. I, I mean, because funny enough, like, when you look at both of these characters and the way they look, like, dead ass, like, <laughs> the guy literally looks like Shinji and Komi looks like freaking uh, Rand slash Rachel. And I was just like, bruh. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> I can't. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of Comey Can Communicate. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys. Okay, so what day? I might have this come out on Fridays because of the fact is I know it's coming out on Wednesdays and such. And I, I think as of right now for the Netflix, they're on episode three. So... If episode two comes out for the following Wednesday for us next week, either I will try to get it out on Wednesday, even though normally I try to do my Patreon shows on Monday on Wednesday. Um, if not, I will just we'll we'll be on Friday. It's permanent. But so if you don't see me on Wednesday, you'll see me on Friday. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.